It's a big day in no code development today. MCP server is officially launched by Figma design platform. Now you're able to take your Figma designs like we have here and directly interface them within cursor. So now your IDE can connect directly with Figma. So you no longer have to build stuff piece by piece. You can bring in the whole design as we have here for our Palm Reader application. We're gonna be able to actually bring these beautiful designs right into Cursor. It's all gonna to work together. We're gonna to set up the server. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So by the end of this video, you guys are gonna know how to, one, set up an MCP server. We're gonna do it with Figma, and then we're gonna bring in some designs, and I'll show you the real power of why this is such a huge deal. Let's get into it. As you can see, you can do VS Code, Cursor, WinSurf, Claude Code, and obviously all the others are gonna come soon also. So the great thing with Cursor is once you set this up in Cursor and activate this MCP server, it's one and done. Like it's already active, you don't ever have to do this again. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna open up a project. I made one called Figma MCP. We're gonna open this up. So just make a new, pro just make a new folder on your desktop. Then we're gonna go up here to settings. So what this will do, this will open up our Cursor settings. So let me move that over. And then you see right here, there's MCP tools. We're gonna to click on that. So if you guys are running Figma locally, like on your desktop, make sure you update it so then the new MCP server can be active. So check for updates. All you wanna do is you wanna pick whether it's VS Code, Cursor, WinSurf, or Claude Code. So we're gonna be using Cursor. And now we have this little snippet right here. So you just wanna copy this, click that. Then we wanna to go to Cursor. And remember, go to up here, go to Settings, MCP Tools. And you can see I already have my Stripe MCP connected. Now we're gonna be connecting a custom MCP server. Yep, and then all we have to do is you have to go after this yellow one here and then paste that in there. And now we have our MCP server set up for Figma. So you can see we have our Stripe up here and now we have Figma below. And now if we go back, close this, you could see that we have Stripe and now we also have Figma and it's loading all the tools. So we're able to now actually use this and next, all we have to do is we have to prompt it to say to use the Figma designs and it's going to understand the context, the MCP server. So let's go to one of our designs and then all you have to do, pick your design and then we're going to right click and it's gonna say copy as link to selection. This is the most important part. Let me make that a little bigger for you guys. You guys can see, so copy link to selection, go back to cursor and then we're gonna paste that in there. So now it's pasted this actual link and then I wanna say, I wanna create this Figma design and then hit enter and just like that now cursor is going to communicate and start using the actual mcp server so check this out to help to create the figma design reference in your link i'll need a little more context what platform or technology do you want to use this do you want a pixel perfect copy or just the main layout and component do you have access to the figma files assets or should i use placeholders and then this is the next step. So depending on, again, what level you're trying to do this. So for us, we're just gonna answer this. One, let's do HTML, just so we could do a really simple one. So CSS and JS. Our product is actually done using React Native, but we're just gonna do it for the sake of the video. Then we want pixel perfect, pixel perfect. Three, do you have the images? Yes, I have images. And then four, is there any other functionality? No, just do static. And of course, if you're doing this for an actual product, you're gonna to wanna to use that. So then last thing we need to do now is we need to go in and actually get our um, designs. So let me go in here really quick. And then let me copy this logo. So we're gonna copy that. We're gonna export as a PNG, just so we have it. Then we're gonna also, we got the text there, that's fine. Let's also do buttons. Actually, it's just that, that's the only thing we need because the rest of it is gonna be able to use text with buttons. So now we're gonna go back to cursor. We're gonna then grab this image. There is our image. And then we're just gonna drag that in. And now we have the image. I have included the main logo image. Okay, perfect. And just like that, we're now gonna be able to actually go through. It's gonna set up the basic HTML structure. It's gonna add the logo we wanted. And hopefully we're done because we're able to do that. So now what you'll be able to do is go through and build all your different screens or your websites or whatever SaaS panel you're building and then it's going to be able to actually work together. So here we go. What should the background color be? From the Figma, it looks like a solid black. Yes, just do it exactly. So it's asking for context, right? It wants to get it right. But again, we're just trying to kind of run through this for the sake of the video. But you can see right here, it says mcp.json. So you know it's actually accessing the Figma, the Figma MCP. Okay, let's accept a few files. And just like that, we're going to have a beautiful looking site using our Figma designs. Okay, so cursor finished everything. 
And let's take a look at our final results. Look at that. I mean, that is incredible. Wow. So let's go back to our design. There's our official design. Look, it even has a little later up here. And now if we go back to our site, you could see how insanely accurate this is. We have our image, we have our buttons, and all these buttons work. And we even have a little later up here. So if you bring this down, you would see that it's identical. And just like that, guys, you can now bring in any design from Figma, make your imagination go crazy, create some amazing looking, stunning visuals. Everything is responsive. Just make sure you communicate it with cursor. So when you're bringing stuff in, like if I was trying to make this active, I would say, hey, make sure these buttons are active. Make sure these buttons go to this page and just connect all the logic behind it. But you guys just saw how we took a design from Figma using cursor mcp server and now we have everything working directly within cursor you can do it for windsurf vs and any of the other ides hope you guys enjoyed that my name is marcin and i will see you of course in the next video and let me know below what you guys want me to do next